Guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a polygon edge node on four AWS EC2 instances all from scratch. And let's get started here. I'm logged into AWS console and I have four EC2 instances launched. These are the free ones that they give you. I got right here. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first one. So I got the public IP right here. I'm going to go to um, actions, connect. Right here, I could just SSH right through here. So let me copy this. And I got four terminals pulled up right here. So uh, let's SSH into this. And I downloaded my key, which is the op a a h h dot pam thing. So that's what that is. So let me see if I could SSH into this one. And that should work. Come on, let's go. Let's give it a second while it's SSH in. In the meantime, I'll do the second one. It's taking a little longer than expected, not sure why. But, um,. Okay, I'm SSH into here. Okay, LS. Okay, I'm in the second one. But why can't I get into the first one? Hmm, that's weird. Let's come back to that one. SSH into that one. The fourth one. So I'm trying to log in remotely to these um, AWS EC2 instances I launched. So every single one of them, I'm going to init and deploy a Polygon Edge node. Come on, that wasn't the right one. So you just click connect here, and after you download, you should have this PEM file, which is required to get authorization to log in to your S to SSH into these. So this one is all fine. Okay, now let's go back to the first one. Why wasn't that one working? There we go. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to get clone the script I made that has a script that's going to initiate the whole file for us. So I'll go into the script in a second, but first let me just clone it. And let me copy this into all of these. Okay, so I'll show you real quick what this script does. Um, so the script is going to go ahead and install wget. It's going to install golang. It's going to export the path. Then it's going to clone the uh, the polygon node, polygon edge. I cloned it into akira.git directory. And then it's going to build it. So let's go ahead and do that. Init validator. And I'm initializing validators on all of them, so let me make this full screen.
though it's gonna take a little while because these ec2 instances the free ones are very slow so give it a second it's still downloading golang so let's give it one moment I'll pause the video and come right back after this is done because these don't have that much RAM so it would be way faster if I did it on my local machine because I have um, 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's an M1 chip but uh, I'll do it on the cloud just to show that how you can deploy on AWS and make the IP address public so we can make curl requests and interact with it and eventually deploy a smart contract to it so I'll be right back I'm back I got my nodes set up and we are ready to go i'm in every ec2 instance i downloaded the binary and now it's time to start the nodes i already got ahead and initiated the secrets for my node what this does is give you the node id and the node ip address i mean the node secret and the public key but um what you would do is, would be run main this is the main command it gives you uh, all the commands for polygon edge but um you run main secrets You run main secrets in it and then it'll generate we get to point to the directory so you put data directory and you point there and it'll bring you a node public key and a address so i already did that so let's go ahead and start the node Just one second. i have this command right here i'm going to copy it's ready to go So yeah, this is going to initiate a network, consensus IBFT, proof of stake, IBFT validator. I'm going to do all these addresses is what got generated from that secrets in it. And also these node IDs right here, these six characters, these strings that start with 16. And I'm going to change the name to Akira chain. I'm going to change the chain dash ID. Make sure I have this right. Main Genesis. Yeah, so these are the flags of POS, name, IBFT prefix. I should probably put that there as well because I think we're going to need that. Actually, no, we won't. Epoch size, yeah, that's gonna be epoch size. I'm gonna definitely change that. Consensus, it's default to IBFT. Chain ID, yep, I'm gonna change my chain ID. Chain ID could be 518, that's my area code. In the uh, block gas limit, I'll make that 8 million. And what else was I gonna change? Um, gonna change something else I think but oh yeah the epoch size I'm gonna make that 50 okay I guess we have an error block gas limit oh, yeah I did put that wrong one two three one two three okay great now we got the genesis file now let's copy that over everywhere it's a pretty big file but yeah you see when I did that it changed the um, name and also changed a lot of other things so this you just have to copy it and make a Genesis folder file in your other node and your other um, EC2 instances if you're running on the cloud so let me nano genesis.json and just copy that perfect nano genesis.json perfect nano genesis.json perfect now we just have to run our nodes so what i'm going to do i'm going to put in a command that is going to specify the directory of the data where the folder is um for me it's a akira node right there for all these so let's go ahead and do that 
this is gonna run. This is the run command. So you do main server. Look at the flags that it has available. Log level. Hmm, I can change the log level. Uh, max inbound peers. No discovery. Prevent client from discovery. Price limit. Restore seal. Indicating the client should seal blocks. A uh, secrets config. Yeah. So there's a lot of different options you could make. I'm gonna use some of these. So let's get started. Um. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's launch our node main server. <laughs> 